Brasserie Garceau. Was that last night? Cause enough trouble for one night. Fine. I'll procure my wine in some other fashion.
was last night. Maybe I left it there. like someone got into a fight. Oh, Christ. Not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch. Have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with. Idiot. <laughs> watch it! <laughs> you don't want to do that, boy. Piss off, old man. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here. Oh. 
Bag it all, boys. Beats rolling farmers for their coppers, eh, lad? You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were worse. Diable, is that mink? Looks like it. Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the floor. And Arno, no exploring. Hmm? Yes, Father.
walk. You will. Uh. Oh, no. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me? for not letting you die? I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake and to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Germain has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Look what you've gotten us into now. Shut up in there! So, this is what France has come to. Parasites! Bleed the revolution dry!
up and vanished now, did you? I'll get you! Got you! Aha, bastard! <laughs> Oh, 
this then? I believe it's called a rescue. Why? Because being a thick-headed man-mountain while doing little enough for your long-term prospects is not actually a capital offense. Huh? Just stay back and let me go first. Next! Let's go. Don't I know you? I doubt it. No, no, I do. You're the town drunk. I'm... Trap him oh, in! God, I suppose I am, aren't I? Trap him in! What is that? Is that? Uh. Shit! Fired? But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres have simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you were a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. This parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit, our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, May the Father of Understanding, understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, my master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Our Peltier has his uses, but... He's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. Yeah! 